Hello, this is George Sendler, the guy from Pittsburgh. Before I start, let me tell you a story. I went to Walmart, and I'm wearing my Art Bell shirt, and as I'm going by in the electric wheelchair, somebody yells, Art Bell! And I said, yep, yep, Art Bell. So the power of Art Bell, even from beyond the grave, Art Bell is out there in the minds of the people. So still always be remembered in our hearts for those who love them. All right, this is my mini Walmart haul. I, my caregiver showed up. We got rid of all the cans and bottles, which will free up the whole corner. $20.50, and I now have $32 toward Alien Con train money. So that's about half of one way. Uh, it's $67 one way, so I'm you know, there. Now, I'm going to buy the ticket, no matter what. And if you guys don't donate, well, I'll figure something out. But, all right, we have here a Cornish came in. Oh, I went to the soup kitchen. They are giving away free tacos, so I had two tacos. Another nutritious breakfast. Okay, two peach waters. Got three ba things of bagels at the soup kitchen. They always go in the freezer. The ever-popular El Cheapo toilet paper. And I also got three cans of Safeway generic green beans. So that will add. And four cans of the Fancy Feast. And tonight's dinner, the ever-popular pizza, as we know it. And I fed Talkie, and I fed Pretty One, and I fed Tiny. But Talkie was scared over something. Started to eat his food and I sniffled and he ran away. <laughs> I went and he ran and it scared him. So something spooked Talkie today. I don't, it took him forever to come out. He, he was hiding and he ate his wet food, but he ran away after I sniffled. It was funny. So and it's uh, very it's nice outside, although it's very windy. It started killing both my caregiver and my I, sinuses. But it's 78 in here, really hot. I don't know if I'll do a live video tonight or not. I uh, woke up today literally choking on all the stuff that accumulated during the night because I have this stupid sinus infection. So it depends on how I feel. All right, and the mystery media person is traveling. So I haven't heard from that person yet. So I don't know when he'll be on the live broadcast, but he'll be in chat. And I'm very happy to have been contacted by someone in the media. Uh, not a phony person and not a troll, but someone who actually watches my videos. And apparently he's watching every live video cast. So that's cool. All right, that's it for now. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Stay warm, wet, dry, or cool, whatever you choose out there. And above all, stay safe out there. Oh, and... Um, uh, the freak this man today, I just forgot the winner. <laughs> so, but uh, that's the Triple Crown going. So, I usually when I add cable, I watch the Triple Crown every year, and I haven't done that in years. It's time to get my direct TV now back before the end of the year so I can watch my horse racing again. And uh, I will uh, go down and feed the cats downstairs later after I've taken a shower. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah, I got I got money for the cans. If I if I were to do that every month and manage to get cans and bottles, that would pay one month's rent a year. That's how much I would get per month if I did it just once, which would be cool. So, free money because the bulk of those cans were found. So, uh, uh, I didn't, you know, I had... A, a few Snapple bottles and a few juice bottles and a, a few of these things, but the rest of it was all found cans. And some guy was there and he, uh, I said, what's that? He's dragging out of his truck and he said, air conditioner cores. And I said, boy, I never saw those um, <clears throat> out of an air conditioner before. And they're like, uh, <clears throat> like grills, like radiator grills with these copper coils running through them and he pulls them out of air conditioners. So... Uh, and I said, what are those other things? Said, those are tra those are transformers from something else. So, uh, or something. I forget what he said they were, but they they long and black and tubular, and he, that's all recyclable metal. 
So it's incredible what they bring in. You know, I'm a whole bunch of wires, you know, copper and wire. That's how, and there were a ton of batteries there and people had turned in. I said, what are those batteries? And the guy working there said, marine batteries. I said, I thought so. I said, back in the day when I lived in Sacramento, um, I used to drive home and I would see three, four, five batteries by the road. Back then, people would leave them there, and I'd turn them in at battery bill, and I would get three to three bucks a piece for them. And the guy working there said, "Yeah, I used to live in San Jose, and we would get five bucks a piece for a car battery. So you're paying sixty bucks for a car battery, but if you grab enough car batteries, you're making you're making your money back if you want to do the effort. They're heavy, but they had about twenty five marine batteries and all these bins of batteries. And I know they they take the top off, they take the plates out, they dump the sulfuric acid, and they recycle the, the metal, I guess, and I don't know what they do with the plastic, but, all right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, that was the interesting day at the Recycling Center, you learn something every day, and Art Bell is still out there, bye-bye for now, there goes the bagels. <laughs>